Welcome back. And so far this week, everyone's been hard at work uh, prepping these molds for some parts as well as doing some other projects. And so this one, as you've seen before, is the forward bulkhead and that's all waxed up now, ready uh, to have the part laid up in there. And also the guys have been working on uh, waxing up the uh, floor and roof brace molds. So here's the two piece floor brace molds and those are, or two of those are ready to go and the other two are still need a little bit more work. Um, but yeah, there's five coats of wax on those again, just so, you know, once the part is laid up, it can um, sort of be popped from the mold pretty easily. Those holes there is, is for the two two piece uh, mold to be bolted together. And I guess you'll see that when we lay that up. And there's uh, one of the, uh, well, that's the other floor brace there. Um, almost done and ready to go. And in the meantime, uh, here's the rear pressure bulkhead that was getting the adjustment made to it. And that's uh, in primer there now, ready for some more sanding work. And here's the uh, new aft bulkhead. That's again in primer, so that's ready for the next uh, round of sanding before it goes to black. So um, that was just done on Monday. Both of those got primed up. And here's Zach uh, finishing off putting the last coat on uh, one of the floor braces there. So this you can see it's it's similar to waxing a car. You just you know put a coat of wax on, wait a little while, and buff it off. And in the meantime, uh, so the next thing for the forward bulkhead, there's some hard points that need to go in there. This one is basically a piece where the um, two outflow valves for the pressurization system will be mounted. So we're cutting what's called FR4, and it's just um, thick quarter inch thick, heavy uh, fiberglass. So the mill's just basically cutting that piece out. And here you'll see there's another piece. And in the process of doing all this, we've discovered that the forward bulkhead was way too complex in my design. So we're going to be simplifying it uh, later on for a customer aircraft. But for now, we're just going to go with this, what we have, um, you know, just because it'll save us time on building the prototype. So there was a bunch of different pieces there that make up the hard points in uh, the forward bulkhead. This is another little side piece because there's, there's hard points there where the four plane uh, spar will get uh, bolted onto the forward bulkhead. And this is the last piece uh, getting cut there and you'll see all those come together here shortly. But here we're just uh, cutting that. This is half inch thick and we're cutting it with uh, four different passes at one eighth of an inch thick on each pass uh, using the kind of acrylic mill that we used when we were cutting that glass and in the meantime here is um, some foam being cut for that small brace that makes up the uh, that mates between the rear pressure bulkhead and the aft bulkhead and you've seen that before and you'll see here shortly when that's finished but uh, again this is just cutting with the acrylic bit and this is just um, sort of high density foam so it goes through fairly easily compared to the that uh, FR4, which is much harder to cut. And there's that brace sitting there in the mold for that, uh, or the, the, uh, yeah, the core sitting in the mold there for that brace. And here's uh, more sanding work in progress being made on that aft pressure bulkhead plug. And Devin just uh, wet sanding that there, getting it ready for the top coat to be put on there. And uh, here's the aft bulkhead getting a wet sanding from everybody on board there on that one. So it won't be long and then that one will be in black, ready to have a mold pulled off of it. And I mentioned before that we we're gonna buy some sort of silicon rubber um, profile instead of using that wax profile. And so it arrived, we just got like a hundred feet of it. And so we'll be trying that out on the next mold. And in the meantime, this is the double sticky stuff that we use around the molds uh, for the vacuum bagging. And so this, one is that brace and there's all the materials there to lay that up all set and there's the um, core in there so um, that one's all ready to go now and there's a bunch more uh, materials that's all ready to go and those are for the roof braces i believe that jeff cut those out um, so we're getting ready to lay those up and there's also the remaining stuff there for the forward bulkhead all the pieces are already cut and uh, ready to go and so here's Jeff just dry fitting um, the first layer of carbon in, in the forward bulkhead, just making sure it's all going to fit out nicely. 
so you can see this is actually a different carbon fiber that we've used um, that we haven't used yet it's very similar to the heavy stuff that we use for making molds but it has a different weave and it's more of a structural one and here you can see Jeff laying in the pieces of the core and also the hard points and they um, you can see how there was quite a bit of work to do and that's why we're going to try and simplify this part um, it's it all came out really nicely but you know for doing production it's just a lot of work for doing one part and we we don't need to you know go to that level if we don't have to so that's one of the end points there where the spar attaches to that's the hard point there where the um, pressure outflow valves will be mounted into and that's the other side for the spar so anyway next up we'll be uh, creating some parts thanks for watching